Guys, I've been trying to think of the right words to say come Tuesday for this week's Marvel Mingle. As you can see, I I didn't put in the intro, you know, the exciting, action-packed intro that, that I would like to think conveys the Marvel Universe in the way that it's meant to be looked at. Because this is a somber day. This is a time of mourning, a time of confusion, um, and a time where a lot of us a lot of us don't know what's going on, you know. Uh, it's it's hard to wrap my head around this whole thing. I mean, ever since, you know, I, I was bowling on Friday night with my friends, I get the notification from my local news station on my phone that Chadwick Bozeman had passed away at the age of 43 from colon cancer. And, and I was speechless. I was shocked. I didn't know what to say. I, I showed my friends, and we were all kind of sitting there, you know, uh, a few of them were Marvel fans as well, but me, you know, I, I was, I was kind of out of it for the, for the rest of the night, you know. I, in this, in this weekend, I watched Black Panther twice. Um, I showed my parents Black Panther for the first time, and then these tributes from celebrities, fellow castmates, colleagues, and Marvel Studios themselves—they all put out um, touching tributes. I've been reading those all weekend. I have been. I've been really taking it all in. On Friday, August 28th, we lost a legend. We lost an icon. And for Marvel fans, we lost our king of Wakanda, Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. Now, I had to put all news aside. Not that there was much news to begin with, but this week, it doesn't feel right to talk about anything else other than this. Chadwick Boseman was an inspiration to many, including myself. And while his career stretched far beyond the Black Panther, that's who I got to know and love him as. Um, portraying wonderfully the King T'Challa. I was in awe from the moment that he made his debut in Captain America Civil War to the groundbreaking film that reached past the vast universe of the MCU touched so many around the world and spread an amazing message. And then his final two appearances in the MCU, in Infinity War and in Endgame, it goes without saying that this man's life was cut insanely too short. And what is amazing me is that this man was diagnosed four years ago. This man was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer the same year that Civil War was out. That means that for the next four years, this man performed his heart out as he was fighting for his life. The movie that ended up being arguably his career-defining movie, Black Panther, he was already two years into this battle. And I remember a few months back during quarantine when um, Chadwick Boseman did a live stream on Instagram, and a lot of people were worried about his physical appearance and his health. And nothing was said about it. Footage of that live stream was taken down. And that further proves, you know, the fact that this came out of nowhere. He was such a humble man. And there was, there was something so inspiring about that. The manner in which he presented himself. The inspiration that he was to me and so many others. Um, the way that he touched children's lives. There's footage out there of him visiting kids in the hospital, just proving that he is a hero to all generations. This man portrayed so many icons, with his breakout role in 42 as Jackie Robinson, to James Brown in Get On Up, and to Thurgood Marshall in 2017. He was such a versatile actor, and an even more inspiring man. He was soft-spoken, but his words left lasting imprints. And the mark that he made on the world will never be forgotten. I think this hit all of us so hard, not just because it was so sudden, but because of the energy that he brought in his presence to anyone that was around him. Now, sadly, I, nor a lot of you guys, I can imagine, never got the chance to meet him. You could feel his presence in watching his roles and in watching interviews. I could go on all day, but... You know, I, I don't really even want to get into the, 
the future of the MCU quite yet. I don't think it's right of me to um, start talking about that quite yet. But instead, this week on the Marvel Mingle to reflect on the lasting legacy that Chadwick Boseman has left on this world. Um, and on fans such as us today and every day moving forward. Rest in power, King. Wakanda forever. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Chadwick Boseman, you will be missed. Just remember, guys, it's all connected. This one's for you. Oh. Let he who has watered be watered.